worry about. We had plenty of time. Nothing to worry about. Shalom, you're the world's worst driver. Well, you taught him. <laughs> Let's get this gear aboard. Then we can drive to my father's house. He's expecting us. Well, that depends on what time this ship leaves. I'll go check. How long will this job in Kuwait take, Tim? Oh, a month, maybe. Longer than the last one. I owe so much to you and Tubo, everything I've learned, and now this new job. Well, you learned fast, Shalom. You won't have any trouble getting our field job from here on in. I hope maybe that I could always work with you and Tubo. Yeah, the trouble is we don't know what we're going to be doing. Hey, this bucket sails in half an hour. Oh, my father's house is only five minutes from here. Go see your father. We'll get this gear aboard. He wants to see both of you. Well, bring him down to the ship. Okay, good idea. Now, remember, half an hour. I feel like a kid with a new toy. And this is dangerous. Where do you suppose he is? I don't know, but he's going to miss this boat. Well, we can't just leave him. Maybe I better go looking for him. You got his address? Yeah. You haven't got much time. Don't worry, I'll make it. Shalom? Shalom? What do you want? Shalom Akir, this is his house, isn't it? Yes, but he is gone. He will not be back. What are you talking about? He's going on a ship with us. He has changed his plans. Where's his father? He is also gone. Tim! Tim, get out of here! Since 10 o'clock this morning. They don't even know where to start. Now you've got to help me. Well, we can put you in touch with the American Charge d'Affaire and Aiden. What'll he do? Investigate first. Maybe your friend just wandered off someplace. My friend just doesn't wander off. About your Arab friend's father, were you able to find out anything about him? Yes, he died about a week ago. Natural causes. But what happened in that house wasn't natural. Hello. Yes, Captain. Mr. Smith is in my office right now. When was that? I see. Yes, Captain, I understand. I'll tell him. What is it? The police. They found a witness to what happened. Your Arab friend and Mr. Kelly have been kidnapped. Kidnapped? Slave traders, Mr. Smith. Across the border from Yemen are desert tribes who still buy men and women. The United Nations has reports of forced labor in at least five other countries. What are you doing about it? Nothing, I'm afraid. We can't enter those countries. There's just nothing we can do until there's sufficient proof. And the State Department can't do a thing. They'll do what they can. Where would they take Tim and Shalom? You can't be sure. Officially, there isn't such a thing as a slave market. All right, unofficially. Where do they take a man they grab off the street? Probably taking them to Remenar. We hear that's the principal slave market in Arabia. How far is that from here? About 50 miles. But Mr. Smith, they'll never let you cross the border. I wouldn't count on that. Thank you, Mr. Caldwell. If you don't hear from me in 10 days, you'll have another report for the UN. 
I have hundred, four hundred, four hundred miserable dollars for this lovely and capable girl. Here is a girl to work in your kitchen to entertain you. Oh, she is more than lovely. She has the grace of a swan, the voice of a mountain thrush, untold talents for an experienced master willing to train her. Oh, come, come, sirs. Is this to be lost for a mere $400? 500. I have $500, 500. Is there a bid for six? I have $500, 500 once, 500 twice and sold for $500 to the most powerful and illustrious chieftain of Rimen R. Al-Bali. Enough, I'm tired. We should wait for the men. And men of the desert, we have men to fill in the ranks of your workers. Come, come closer, closer, that's it, come, come closer, closer please, come in here, that's it, and keep your purses open. Come, please, come closer, we have men to fill the ranks of your workers. Come closer, closer please, come in here, that's it. Bring them in. All right, bring up the first one. Ah, here's a young man of good health and wind. Look at him. He is unschooled but strong. He is a farmer by trade. What am I bid? One hundred. I have one hundred. Who'll make it two? Two hundred. I have two hundred. Who says three? Three. Three hundred. I have three hundred dollars. Is there another bid for this strong young man? Three hundred dollars once. Three hundred twice. So for three hundred dollars. I'll never forgive myself for getting you into this. Forget it. You do now have to get out of here. This is an example of your sturdy specimens. Wait, Excellency. The next two, both educated. The second is a foreigner. Bring up the next one. What? Hey! What? All right. Bring them up together. You see? Real spirit and strength. And now we have two fighting men. And since they like to fight together, I will sell them together. They are both educated. You will be buying two fine minds as well as their bodies if you need them. And what am I bid? Five hundred dollars I'm bid. Five hundred. Oh, show me these men are worth more than that. Six hundred. I have six hundred. Six hundred. Who says seven? Seven hundred I have. Seven hundred. Eight hundred. Eight. Eight. Who will make it? Nine. Nine. Nine for the... Nine hundred dollars. I have nine hundred dollars. One thousand. One thousand! I have a thousand! Is there another bid? One thousand going at one, going at two, and sold for one thousand dollars! A goodbye, Excellency. Educated men could be more difficult to handle. Six months in your road cruise will quiet the hottest tempers. We shall see. Well, be I need a new overseer. Man with a strong stomach and an iron fist. Can you find one? Of course, Excellency. Bring him to me. the name. Two Bo Smith. Where did you come from? What does it matter? And don't ask for a passport. Mine's in a police station in Cairo. You a foreigner? With no passport, no friends? You came alone to Reminov? I got a friend. My 45. That and my fists will take me any place I want to go. But will it get you out? 
It always has. I could have sold you as a slave in 20 minutes. I could have put a bullet in your belly in less than a second. Now, look, I came here looking for a job, not a fight. I never met a man like you. That's right. But I've been handling men like me all my life. From chain gangs to Shanghai sailors. You think you could handle a man like that? Oh, size doesn't make a man tough. Hey, Doc, take this man into the streets and teach him a lesson. Manners will suit Al Balik. We will leave in 15 minutes. Just get it over with. What are you talking about? Well, start a fight and make a run for it. Get shot down before you go in 10 feet? No, it's better than starving to death or being tortured. Pick up that sledge and get to work. I guess two and I should have taught you something else, too. You just don't quit when you're in trouble. You'll never get out of this place alive. Maybe not. Tubal and I always said if nobody else has done it, we'd like to try. To look at you, Mr. Smith, I would not imagine you fitted for this kind of job. Well, that's what your man thought, Your Excellency. Yes, I know. He told me all about it. You're an American? I was. But I don't intend to go back. Well, if you should uh, prove to be a capable leader of my men, you may not have to. A leader? I don't lead, Your Excellency. I just push and point. Look this. Good. Oh, a word of caution. The man you are replacing died an extremely painful death. I learned he was taking bribes in return for small favors. But you can't blame him for trying to make a fast dollar. The only crime I can see is he got caught. In Remenar, all crimes against the throne are punishable by death. I'll keep it in mind. Wait outside. You are pleased by my choice, Excellency? I'm not sure. I have my doubts about your Mr. Smith. Doubts? He's too bold, too dishonest. Watch him, Belat. Of course, Excellency. And Belat. If it should turn out that you hired a spy or a troublemaker, I would consider that a crime against the throne. Get used to it. Have to to stay alive. We're gonna get out of here. We better do it soon. Died of this for a month. We wouldn't have the strength to escape. Can't be. Well, listen. How did 
I don't know. That crazy guy sticking his neck out. You'll do the same for him. Not the finest specimens in the world, but I gather you've seen worse. Yeah, I'm trying to remember where. Some of them look pretty well fed. The new men, these two, for example, and that one could be a countryman of yours. You seem to forget I have no country. You, step forward. You may have trouble with this one. He likes to fight, but not the food, apparently. Uh, this muddy water. You have not learned to keep your mouth shut. Guard, give this man ten lashes. Now, hold it. You object to using the whip? Yeah, when a man's trouble's in his mouth, why hit him on the back? Till his tongue heals, he can't say anything. All right, get to work, all of you. Last jaw. You know you're getting pretty good with that right hand. So when he struck him and then kicked him before my very eyes, there was no doubt. You're a fool. Come here. Look. Why don't you stay out of this? Well, I was getting a little lonesome. How are you, Shalom? All right. But you shouldn't have come here. Well, I'm here. So cross your fingers and stay out of trouble till I find an angle. For the past minute and a half, they've been holding a friendly conversation. I do not understand, Excellency. If they know each other, why would Smith give him a beating? He only made it seem that way. To stop you from using the whip. I will not give him a second chance. Bilat. You must learn to use your imagination. Let me show you how we can deal with these two gentlemen and amuse ourselves at the same time. I got a little information from the old man. He says that this is the smallest of our beliefs four labor camps. How many has he got all together? About 500 here. In the other camps within the kingdom of Remen are 3,000 other men. All living like this? Worse, sir, the old man said. Here's what we gotta do. Talk to as many men as you can. Their names and addresses. And their relatives. We get out of here. We'll have enough evidence of slave traffic to get action all over the world. When we get out of here, or if. I said when. Now get some sleep. Say nothing to anyone. Where's Tim? Something went wrong. He's in the forecourt. Take charge of this man. Lock him in solitary. 
Smith, come here. What did he do? He was found in the palace talking to one of Al Balik's wives. Come with me. And of course, I cannot hold you personally responsible for this man's crime, but I want you to understand the seriousness of it. How did he get out of the courtyard? It makes no difference. The important thing is his punishment. Well, I'll arrange something. Mr. Smith, it's already been arranged. He will die at sundown, in full view of the rest of the slaves as an example, and by the whip. It is your duty and pleasure to administer the penalty by the whip, not your fist this time. Walked right into it. That's what I figured. Al Balik's playing with us now. He knows there's a connection. Why don't you get out of here while you still got a chance? Oh, sure. Here. What is it? Goat's blood. Remember how we broke up that con game in Singapore? It didn't work for that guy. Let's hope it works for us. When? Sundown. And Tim. Make it look good. Bring the prisoner! Is it customary to wait for Al Balik? Or doesn't he like to watch? He's watching from the window. What'd you expect me to do? Let him shoot us? No, you did well. Shall I still string him up and put him to the lash? No, just get rid of him. Hey, you! And you, come here! Put him on a trot! This one. I wouldn't be here if you hadn't missed the last one. Neither would I if people hadn't used blank cartridges. You sure that job's still waiting for us in Kuwait? Sure, we got a cable gun this morning. Come on, Shalom, pack this thing and we'll get aboard. I'll leave it in the warehouse. Gas? Very confusing. Shalom, if I told you once, I told you a hundred times. The gas is here. The brake is... Oh, you'll never learn. So all right. I didn't teach him to drive. <laughs> but you're a great play driver. <laughs> <laughs> 